What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. By the title and thumbnail, you already know what happened. And that's, we lost two fish in our saltwater aquarium. One being the Jack Cravel, the baby Jack that me and Ryan caught. And the second one being the butterfly fish, the one that Paul got me. I didn't even plan making a video on this, but you know, I have to because I pretty much share everything with you guys. I have to tell you guys this. It's unfortunate, but that's what happened and yeah, I'm guessing what happened was the butterfly fish with the aggressive fish, you know, him being more of like a reef fish tank, he just got picked on by the bumblebee and the lionfish and all the other aggressive fish. And same with the jack, I'm pretty sure the same thing happened with him. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're dealing with today. Um, I've been hiding it from you guys a little just because I didn't plan on making a video on this, but you guys deserve to know what happened to them and that's honestly the truth. I woke up in the morning, saw the jack passed away and then two weeks later I also saw the butterfly fish. They were just all beat up and stuff like that and I'm guessing it was this guy right here. You know, you just gotta look at it positive. The good news is all our other fish are still doing okay. It's sad, I know that our Butterfly fish and Jack did pass away, but we got our eel right there, bumblebee, panther, lionfish, shrimp are doing good, trigger fish, puffer fish. Um, where's our lobster at? I just saw him. Okay, there he is. If you look back in there, his whiskers are coming out of the rock back there. And then our other eel is definitely hiding in the rock somewhere. And that's what happened guys, and like I said before, you guys deserve to know what happened, so this is why I'm making a video on it. To go along with this video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on all the pets at the house, let you guys know how they're all doing and stuff like that. So first, we'll start off with the crawfish, and they're all doing awesome. We got our blue crawfish right there, orange one right up there, and then all the other ones are hiding and stuff. But yeah, our crawfish tank is doing amazing. Now over to our beta fish. They're doing amazing. I had to move them down to the ground just because the thing they were sitting on broke. So while that's getting fixed, they're right here on the ground doing awesome. Got all our beta fish somewhere at the top there. Then over here we got our snapping turtle. Right back there is one of them. And then the second one, it's hard to find these guys sometimes. They like to hide. Second one is right there. Kind of can see him. He blends in really good with the rocks, but there's his back right there. Pac-Man Frog is doing awesome. Loving his new home. Iguanas up there <laughs> getting some sun. Pac-Man Frog is looking awesome in his new tank. Just getting some light right now and then as you can see I made a little tunnel for him to go in. He's like sitting right at the end of it. And then we got our live plants which are doing good. And then right next to the Pac-Man Frog we got our little baby iguana. Look at him just getting some sun or some heat. <laughs> and then over to here is our panther chameleon. We gotta find him. There he is, right there. Look at the colors on him right now. He is blue. Look at that thing. Look at that. His colors are coming out insane. Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen him that color before in my life. Sheila, how the heck did you get up there? What the? Come here, girl. Get down. Okay, I don't know how she got up there. But our leopard geckos are doing awesome. Let's see. Let's see if he's in here. Yep, he's in there. That's the moist hide I made. And he loves sitting in there because it's nice and cool and then they got their heat side over here. Now, over to our baby tortoise. Getting massive. Oh my gosh, he was this big when I got him. I actually got him from Blake. Blake gave me him and he's growing slowly and once Paul gets his enclosure set up, tortoise enclosures, we're gonna be giving him to Paul to live the rest of his life in a massive enclosure. Now, I think we're gonna head to Pet Supermarket and get some sardines and maybe even some shrimp and feed the 180 saltwater gallon tank because they are hungry right now. So let's head to Pet Supermarket and get some food. Here at Pet Supermarket, gotta get some sardines, some silver sides. That's where we're gonna be feeding the fish tonight. Got our silver sides and now we're heading home to feed our fish. Also, our crawfish will also eat these and same with the snapping turtles and obviously the 180 saltwater gallon aquarium. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Um, I had to stop filming last night because I realized that I bought brine shrimp. I thought I bought sardines, okay? I thought they were sardines, but I, they weren't. So I went back to the store in the morning and I got some pilchards, these are some big pilchards. So we're gonna cut them into pieces and then 
feed our fish. They're going to munch these. They are so hungry. Right over there. See them all waiting at the top over there for me. So we're going to let these defrost for a little and then feed our fish. These are actually pilchards. Never mind pilchards. And basically, I'm just going to take them out like that. And then just chop them all into pieces. So everyone, so I just dump them all in and everyone gets a chance to eat because usually the bumblebee grouper hogs them and he'll just, he won't let anybody eat. So this way we chop them all into little pieces like that, throw them in at one time, everything can eat them. All right, so the pilchards are ready to go and the fish are even more ready to go. Look at this thing, look at them. Over here, look at them, over here. Right now, we're just training them. <laughs> so, I got them all in this little t container right here. Basically, just gonna take one first, just for the bumblebee. Ready? Oh gosh. Boom. Look at that thing. He's a beast. He's literally a beast. Look at it. Here, real quick, let's get a little montage of um, this fish tank. Okay, first batch going in. Oh, oh, panther grouper just murked one. Sugarfish has one in his mouth. Oh my gosh, the lobster. He's got one. Oh, 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 wait, he's got one. Puffer fish is over there eating. Wow, everything's munching right now. What, what about our eel? Eel's got one. He's got one. Where's our new eel? We gotta find, oh, there he is right there. There's our new eel. Lobster right there has the head of a fish in his mouth. He'll slowly eat that. And then our bumblebee has like 10 fish in his mouth. What else? What else? There's our panther. Look at, look at. Boom. Trigger fish. Oh, look at the eel. Look at the eel. The eel has one. He just took it to his little cage. And our other eel, if you look, zoom in right there, you see him slowly moving. Look at a little shrimp. He'll just eat all the scraps from all the fish, like all the stuff floating you see. The shrimp and stuff will eat that. I also picked up a bag of live shrimp because the lionfish over here doesn't like to eat fish. So we got seven dozen shrimp to feed him. So we're gonna add them to the aquarium right now and all the other fish will munch on them too. Oh God. Watch the lionfish. Oh my gosh, you see him bro? He's destroying. Gone. Wrecking him? What? Look. Oh, watch these. He's watch. He's gonna see these two here in a second. Watch what happens to him. No, it's crazy. Oh, oh. Bumblebee. I know. Bumblebee's wrecking. <laughs> yeah, watch, 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 watch. Just watch. Ready? Go. Oh my gone. gosh. Here goes this next guy. He's oh, so, so gone. gone. <laughs> Lionfish is wrecking them right now. I told you. He loves the shrimp. Do the bumblebee, he's pissed. Yeah, and I fed him today sardines. Oh, this thing just doesn't stop eating. Literally Look, just he's chasing this guy. This doesn't stop eating, dude. Look, oh. <laughs> he can't even, look how fat he is. He can barely swim. Watch, watch when he comes out, look how fat he is. He's huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not healthy, but the guy doesn't stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> you beast. Look at him. Oh, look at his stomach. Look at his stomach. That's crazy. Here, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, yeah, here it goes. Boom. Got him. Done. There's another one coming here in a second. 
Dude, as soon as that shrimp moves, he's done. Where's that shrimp? <gasps> the Panther Grouper. Oh, he wrecked. I bloody. And now it's weird. A lot of people say, like, put shells in here and snails in here for him to eat to follow down his beak. And I do, and he doesn't eat them. So if you guys know why, let me know down in the comments below. I put snails in here, I put crabs, hermit crabs, so he can eat them, but he never does. And his beak is kind of overgrowing, so. If you guys know what I should do, let me know down in the comments down below. And we're trying to solve this. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like and a comment down below. I know it wasn't you know, the brightest video and it was kind of sad that we lost two of our fish, but you have to just be positive about it. Look at it, the bright side that since you know two fish did pass away, we might have room for maybe two other fish that can get along with the fish that we have now. Unfortunately, I was surprised by Paul with that fish, so he didn't know, I didn't know um, the requirements that fish needed. It was a surprise, I had no clue. The Jack, you know, he was just a little small he could definitely get along with those fish, but he was just a little too small and the bumblebee grouper pretty much smashed him. There's really nothing you can do about that. You know, I definitely wasn't going to make a video on this, but I felt like I had to because you guys needed to know where the fish went, what happened to them. So I decided to make the video, which you guys are watching now, and um, yeah, it does suck. One like equals one prayer for our fish. They're in fish heaven right now. And some other fish that we've had in the past.